So first you should be on your Shopify store. You go down here to apps, click on that. Uh, then go here to view more apps. And then just wait for it to load. Click search. Type in trend, oops, trend drop. Click search, click on this result, click add app. I already have it added, but then I go over to my apps. I click on trend drop, click available to import. In here we see all of our selection. I'm just selecting a couple. Um, you can go and sort by all these subcategories. Uh, this will sort it from our whole website. We also have these filters you can sort by. Um, and you can also sort how many you want to be displayed on each page. So after that, you can just click add all filter to list and it'll come up here into your product list. So if you just click on there, uh, then you can see uh, the, the price that we have set uh, right now our markup is by default it's 250 but you can set your own markup um, based on what how much you want uh, here you can sh uh, more filter your list of the products that you selected and you can select their individual markup and you can set it to whatever you want uh, you can also set the fixed amount and you can Oops, you gotta you have to put a category here and click save markup and here you can see all your markups are saved so we go back here to products my product list you can see that um, from there you can click select what you want and you can add it to your store again you can filter it these three filters and this final thing shows what has been added to your store. And further, you can uh, resynchronize them, you can remove them, you can just update them. Um, so you can do that as you please. And here you can see that they are displaying on our website.